what is up guys welcome back to another video so this is probably going to be the final video of this series so as you know from the last video said we're going to get this engine bay cleaned up get it all sprayed off just i ain't going to do nothing too too crazy i'm just going to clean it up uh while the engine is out and uh get all the dirt and grime and stuff off and pretty much just blow all this stuff out with the pressure washer and all that good jazz just get this thing soaked up and get it cleaned out and then uh we can progress to the next process and that'll be getting the swamp in so i'm gonna go ahead and get the important stuff out of the way just that all this appeared on top of the hatch so, got the swap completely made it together. I want to slide it out here, use my engine hoist to raise it up and set it down in the bay so we can get this bad boy mounted back up. So, all, I mean, really the only thing that was the hardest part was uh, just getting the, uh, the engine harness right wherever that bracket's at probably i probably tossed it because if you've messed with the oem car that ain't been really touched you know that there's a metal bracket back here that mounts up here and then down to here and they are annoying it literally holds the engine harness and everything is that's just it's just a clutter. And then you got these two guys right here that go on the backside of the intake up underneath. It's just a mess. So we're gonna go ahead and get this sprayed out, cleaned up, and then we'll focus on slide and swap over. I don't have a valve cover on it right now because he had provided a aftermarket valve cover that he wanted to put on. So I told him I would do that. So I don't want to scratch it up or anything uh, using the chain and stuff to lift the swap up. So I'm gonna wait and put that on afterwards. That is why we took that uh, timing cover right here. Took that off the, the top right here by the belt. So go ahead and get this cleaned up and uh, without further ado, we'll get this swap in here. So there's a little before. Get y'all after here in just a second. have it a fairly decently clean engine bay the paint's not the 100% best so it ain't got much of a shine to it a little scuffing here and there but hey all the dirt grime is all out of the way now we got a clean engine bay to set a clean swap into with a nice clean valve cover and you all will see that here shortly so go ahead and throw you guys on a little time lapse real quick i want to get this engine harness fold it over and out of the way perfectly up like this there it goes something like that That way, we can get the swap in and not have to worry about hitting any plugs and damaging the harness and, you know, all that good fun stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these tightened back up because I had started taking them out because I thought it was going to be easier for me to go ahead and do that. But, I didn't. I didn't have to do that. So, get to 17. 
Go ahead and get that tightened up. Got the air compressor fired up. I went ahead and got everything blown off. That way I could, uh... Yeah, there we go. That way I can go ahead and get it all dried up and continue to move on with the process and not have to wait for it to dry. So. Yeah, buddy. Go ahead and get my big old earthquake impact gun out. Gosh, a 17 right here. We're definitely going to be needing that on the mounts and stuff. Everything else should be just hand tools. And uh, go ahead and get them snugged up there real quick. And uh, just swap put on the engine hoist. mount so far torque mount trans mount t bracket mount and post mount still got that other uh torque mount over here as well as the, the bracket all that right there all that stuff so we got all that all that put on uh still got to fish the uh engine harness around through get all that plugged up all that easy stuff and then after we get all that done, then we focus on uh, getting the suspension stuff back together. And the axles and the shift linkage for the shifter. All that good jazz. Pretty straightforward. And we gotta get his new plugs in as well. They're actually over here, his were shot. Uh, they were drenched in oil because of these right here. This was his valve cover, his tube seals. They were all four ripped. Looks like the valve cover been on and off before. But we got him some new plugs and uh, that new valve cover that he has in the back of the car. We got four new spark plug tube seals. All that put on the valve cover gasket, got that ready to go. And now it's pretty much just buttoning everything up. Uh, heater core holes, you know, all that good stuff. Get starter put on. Yeah, I probably should have went ahead and done the starter while the swap was out, but it'd be alright. I forgot. So I'm gonna take me a little break because that's about. 30 minutes worth of work that I had just caught in the time lapse uh, of getting the swap put in and wrestling it back and forth and it you know sometimes it goes well sometimes it doesn't but we got it in there I'm gonna take me a break give me a bite to eat and then we'll get right back to it and there we are guys so the swap's pretty much wrapped up got the cruise control power steering AC compressor everything Everything's all bolted up, lines connected, and the harness is done. The only thing left that I gotta do is his uh, intake pipe so I can get these last few vacuum stuff on there and on the valve cover and all that good stuff. Uh, only thing left that I have to do is get the uh, power steering and AC belt on. So I gotta take his torque mount, the bracket off, and slide the belt on. From there and then I can do the power steering which would be simple and then get everything adjusted because right now everything should be fairly loose as far as the, the pump and stuff moving there we go I need a swivel or something so yeah look at the get the belts and stuff on uh, still gotta put his plugs in there's nothing in there yet uh, and get some fluids that's, that's pretty much it it's just a small list of uh, stuff to do 
besides that. And then of course we gotta put the, the axles and do the suspension, but all that's, that's all cake work stuff. The big stuff's done. So fluids, valve cover gasket, spark plugs, wires, um, belts, and then intake pipe. That's it. And then axles and suspension. And then she's done. So I've been busting my butt on this thing. As you can tell, I ain't got no shirt on. It's it's hot, burning up. Uh, so I'm gonna get all that knocked out that I will list it off. And then we will be firing this thing up and seeing it run and move under its own power again, but under a fresh rebuilt YA. So he should be able to get quite a bit more life expanded out of this and uh, be able to enjoy the car again. So that's, that's what it's all about. That's what, that's what I've done this job for. Uh, obviously I did make some money off of it, but I charged him way less than what a shop would charge. And I got done with it in a timely manner and I made content off of it. So there we have it. So I'll go ahead and get that list knocked out real quick. And then uh, I'll fire this thing up. a customer and he uh it looks like he's ready to enjoy his car again so that's what 
what it's all about, man. I, I, I like seeing that. I like bringing smiles to people's faces and then be able to enjoy their car. So I guess we'll see what's in store for next. And like always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.